Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim East KJ. The site of our first video together, except there are no cars rolling by this time. <laughs> Yo, that video. N that, Niger that, Morgan. <laughs> that video sucked. That video sucked. But it hey, got 7,000 views. Got too. views. Uh, today we're, we, we sort of started something last year at this same spot, except like sitting right up there by the baseball field where we started uh, debating quarterbacks. I think we did Breeze versus Manning. We both said Manning. This time we're doing Rivers versus Breeze. It's kind of interesting because Drew Breeze basically got sent out of uh, San Diego to make room for Phillip Rivers. So, basing off that, who you got? I got Breeze. I mean, he went out, he went to the Saints, and he won a Super Bowl. I mean, how could you argue with that? Phil Rivers has not gotten a Super Bowl in San Diego, and I realize that that's two different scenarios, two different teams, and he's working with totally different people. And I mean, the Saints were, I'd like to say, they had a very, very strong offense that year. They had uh, good running backs, and Pierre Thomas, and uh, they had Reggie Bush, and they had, I mean, they had all the wide receivers in the world, Colston, all those guys, all playmakers, and the defense was good too, so... I mean, I have Breeze because I think he had a real nice passing season. He had he had good stats. He he played well. His name was up all the time. People were always talking about yeah, him. Yeah, last year he had a bit more of a down year. Yeah, there were a lot more picks. Yeah, but. he did. But he he had a very good year that year. I would say when he left, and I just, I just think he's the better overall quarterback. I mean, Phil Rivers hasn't shown. I, I don't think he's Rivers shown as much. Rivers is younger though, still. Yeah, Phil Rivers he, has he's more younger years. and. Like you said, all the weapons Breeze has now. Philip Rivers had some of those with LT at the beginning of his regime there, and uh, you know, last year though he had an incredible season. Was a dark horse MVP candidate. I think he finished like third behind Brady and Vic, and I think I'm gonna pick him probably to win it next year. But uh, <laughs> as the cards about to roll by, I think if you look at uh, what he did last year. <laughs> With the team he had, I mean, he had Sproles, their running back. He's a nice second piece. Uh, what was the other guy's name? I can't think of it. He was a first-round pick. Weaver? No, no, it wasn't Weaver. Or Jacob Weaver might have been. I don't, I don't Jacob know. Jacob somebody. I can't but uh, and he also had someone who was a first-round pick <laughs> last year. The, this whole thing of not having cars works well and my hasn't worked out as well as we planned, but. Uh, I think we take Rivers because he's already been to an AFC, uh, AFC title game. If he actually gets a kicker besides Nate Kading, he can <laughs> kick field goals in the playoffs. I think eventually he can win multiple Super Bowls. I think him and Aaron Rodgers are the future of the NFL quarterback-wise. And I think Drew Brees has been a great quarterback, a borderline Hall of Famer. But I think right now, moving forward, you got to take Philip Rivers. Yeah, I, I see where he comes up with that. I still got Breeze, though. If you have to build for the next 10 years, though, it's obviously. Yeah, I got Philip Rivers, but I, so far I got Breeze because he had the Super Bowl and he had a great season. Yeah, I mean, they're both good cases. Drew Breeze kind of brought a city back. Either way, yeah, though. A hurting game. city. Yeah. All right, so tomorrow we're going to make an announcement of a new show on the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Network, not just the Sports Report anymore. New show, new host, new everything. Uh, and we also are adding one more host onto this show. That was something I did not release until right when I just said that. But it's going to be special. Tune in tomorrow. I'm Timmy's KJ. We'll see you later.